Scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to When light attain. comes, Thank you. now you are gaining perspective. You can go back and say, Mama, this our fight is not about two of us. Now I know. This fight is not about you at all. This 10-year-old fight is not about you. I have found out in the volume of the books that there is something about my destiny. Man of God, hear me. Find comfort. Why is Satan attacking my ministry? I will tell you why. It is not because of where you come from. Where you come from is just the obvious answer, not the right one. I can tell you. Some of you now begin to look at your life and see all the happenings and see that that roaring lion has been tracing you and saying till now you have not gone down. Can I tell you this? Do not cry about all the stories of pain in your life. Now God is interpreting the writings on the wall. The disappointment, the shame. He fought your marriage. He fought your children. You lost your child. You lost everything. And you are wondering to what end is this? Now I bring you the word of the Lord. He wants dominion and he wants transgenerational allegiance. If you will fall down and worship me, that business, I will give it to you. Can I tell you this? Look up, please. Look up, please. Unfortunately, painfully, unfortunately, there are people today who could not stand because they do not know these truths and they do not have the weapons of victory. They said, Satan, I can't go through this. I will go back to you. And they had that agreement. They are some of the celebrities we celebrate around the world today. They know what they did. You don't know it, but they know. That is why in spite of their fame, there is no joy. They already know their doom is defined. That's why the money does not prosper them. That's why in the, you see how miserable, respectfully speaking, some of their lives become. In the midst of all the glamour. Because they know that there is a covenant. Please hear me. Some of you right now, Satan is about to tempt you. And he's using financial issues. He's using marital issues. He's using health issues. And they have called you from the village. Come back remember what we said we will bath you near the river and that's it just bathing no it's not about the water a river does not hurt people there is an allegiance please hear me let me encourage someone as we pray for the sake of those depending on you don't give up don't give up some of you are crying listen to me i'm very serious for the sake of your family members if you give up who else will help them are you not seeing their state that's why god sent you to koinonia here for those of you following that's why he said read out of fire only a shoe you reign forever to your kingdom there'll be no end only as you are 
will reign forever. Please look at me. What if Reinhard Bonke gave up? What if T.L. Osborne gave up? What if Billy Graham gave up? Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Can I tell you this? Please look at me, brothers and sisters. This is a word from the Lord. This is not just a deliverance series. You need to go back home and listen to this thing again. Especially this part. What is Satan really looking for? You are wrong if you think it's your marriage. You are wrong if you think it's your health. What is it about the cancer and the fibroid and whatever the genotype issue? No, none of those things. There is something he's looking for. Please look up. We're wrapping up. Please look up. In our nation here and many parts of Africa, when kidnappers or some of these evil people are looking for people what they do is they try to look for somebody or something dear to you is that true they catch your child or they catch whoever and then sometimes they will now make you to hear the voice of your child and when your child that you gave birth to says daddy please don't leave me like this you can give up that business and say what is business if my child is in the hand of someone and all of a sudden you bring your everything so what satan did was he studied everything dear to you he found out your assignment is dear to you your family is dear to you your business is dear to you and he fashioned an attack hear me now that it seems like he's collected the business he's strangling the business like the voice of that child and making you hear it daddy will you leave this vision like this daddy is this how this family will be without a child and before you know it they say there is somebody it's not exactly evil but we will go to the village he said we should bring a chicken we should bring one granite oil we should bring palm oil we should bring a knife and bring some kinds of things some of you god brought this message to help you because you're on your way going there now be careful can i tell you this desperation is satan's moment the moment satan finds a desperate individual here he comes i spoke to you 10 years ago you didn't listen 10 years later are you willing but only a shoe will reign forever to your kingdom two prayer points prayer point number one Please pray it from the depth of your heart. Shout this loud after me, everybody. Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I come by the blood of the Lamb. And I decree and declare that no weapon fashioned against me, fashioned against my destiny, shall prosper. Lift your voice and begin to pray. No weapon. No weapon against my health. No weapon against the work of the Lord committed to me. No weapon. Someone pray. No weapon against my children no weapon are you praying against my job my career my spiritual life pray every spirit around your life is on assignment the spirit of death is on assignment the spirit of infirmity is on assignment the spirit of failure is on assignment they don't come on their own they are sent by an adversary
Hallelujah. Please look up. I know we've not begun to discuss deliverance proper, but let me use one scripture and we pray. Now, thanks be to God, which always causes us to triumph. Thanks be to God. Can I tell you this? Believe me when I tell you that he who the Son sets free is free indeed. Amplified says is really and unquestionably free. Free from curses. Free from yokes. Bondages of darkness. Are you ready to pray? Say, Father, by the blood of Jesus, the blood of the eternal covenant that speaks better things than the blood of Abel, I dissociate myself from ancestry. I dissociate myself from covenants. I dissociate myself from activities of bloodline and inheritance. I declare that I have been called out of every tribe, out of every tongue, out of every nation. I am seated with Christ. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Resist the devil and he will flee. Resist him. And they overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and the words of their testimony. Pray. Oh, hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb to receive honor and glory victory in jesus christ victory by the blood victory over causes victory over altars victory over yokes victory over activities of ancestry victory Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll. And the elder tapped me and said, weep not. The lion of the tribe of Judah, even the root of Jesse is worthy. And I looked upon the throne and I saw as it were a lamb that had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which were the seven spirits of God. My background does not have to be a disadvantage over me. Because my grandfather was a herbalist, my grandmother was a herbalist, I don't have to suffer the consequences of yesterday. There is a bailout system for me. Because upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Give Jesus a big hand clap. Give him a big hand clap of victory. The lamb that was slain to receive glory and honor and power and riches forever and ever. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Now please listen very carefully. Please listen very carefully. 
this is a deliverance series and i'll be giving us a lot of assignments please trust god for grace and discipline yourself to do it hallelujah i may not compel us and give us a lot of things but let me just choose a day of the week let's say thursday discipline yourself to fast at least we'll be doing it even if it's just once a week the weakest person here can fast at least one day thursday you are praying let me encourage you this is something you should do please beginning from now till all through from your 11 o'clock till 6 o'clock choose any one hour and blast in tongues praying in the night please discipline yourself you will not die mean business with your destiny once and for all for god's sake are we together if by now you don't see the importance of this spiritual exercise then i take it that you are not really some of you in these moments of prayer you will be surprised the things god will open your eyes to see you can play any koinonia message you want some of you can choose 12 to 1 11 to 12 pending on your schedule maybe even earlier just discipline yourself to take any one hour flog it out with destiny you can add your worship you can dance like our dear sister did please just obey instructions and see what will happen to you i assure you you will share testimonies here that you will marvel and wonder and let me encourage you don't keep quiet there will be enough time for testimonies as god is helping don't be silent whenever you come for koinonia don't wait until it is announced right at the, you can go to the media stand or the pr desk and tell them i have a testimony is burning within my spirit i'm not teaching you things that are, are lectures this man standing before you was a victim of attacks you've heard my stories as a preacher of the gospel spirits were oppressing me not many people will be honest to tell you this I know what it means to be free indeed <laughs> hallelujah hear me all these spirit husband spirit wife wicked demonic spirit seeing yourself in secondary school writing exams that never finish in an old house dead bodies that have gone calling you back don't worry this is the series that will bring this thing to end once and for all in your life before i make the altar call let me challenge you please please do well to invite your family members to be here or to at least connect this is not just some church thing god is in a business of bringing liberty there are pastors who are watching and following there are people who are following from across the globe this is not something to be silent about you can so deceive of even giving someone the teaching and say please listen to this all these myriads of problems you are saying god is giving you perspective tonight god simply started with us by answering the question why why the assaults of satan it is comforting to know he was created it is comforting to know that whoever created him can destroy it is only what does not have a beginning that does not end if satan had a day of creation it is comforting to know a day will come when his end will come and prophecy has gone ahead of him hallelujah the greatest deliverance is the translation from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's dear son many times believers do not take altar calls serious please listen to me rejecting jesus and rejecting an altar call is still part of the strategy of satan to keep you bound there is every legitimate ground he has over your life if the blood has not opened you up to that new and living way there are hundreds of people thousands and potentially millions across the globe listening to me you know that you need jesus some of you are here right now in this auditorium all the overflows to the basement outside our zaria family our global family you are here and you know that jesus is speaking to you you are saying apostle i am tired i need to hand everything over to jesus some of you the devil has destroyed your family members killed everybody caused sicknesses don't just go back and think this is some church thing 
he wants to give you a new beginning there are others who are saying apostle i remember giving my heart to jesus but as it is right now i need restoration and i need rededication i'm only going to count one to five those who are in here and around the vicinity you can come outside you can move to your your led screen zaria family our global family you are in your house right there you can make this decision i'm going to count one to five please win that war i want you to come and join this gentleman who is already standing are you ready celebrate them as they come one don't be afraid come to jesus he can give you a new beginning koinonia is this the best you can do jesus is calling them come unto me all ye please stand for space all ye that are weary and heavy laden and i will give you rest apostle i'm not sure if i'm saved can i still come absolutely come and join them young and old male and female come to jesus it's time to end this for the sake of your life some of you by coming here your children will thank you when you are telling them the stories of the background you came from if you came from a family of witchcraft let a godly family come out of you if you came from a family of idol worship let a family of righteousness come out of you hallelujah whosoever calls upon the name of the lord the same shall be saved god is no respecter of persons thank you for this bold decision for all of you who are out those of you who are following from your homes your churches following by way of television jesus is giving you an opportunity right now don't reject him it is costly to reject jesus the bible says when he the spirit of truth is come he will convict the world of three things of sin of righteousness and of judgment let me encourage those of you who are in front here please if you are joining them quickly come quickly come lift your right hand and say this after me as loud and clear as you can say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i need your deliverance from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son right now i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification i believe that you defeated sin satan hell and the grave and you gave me the victory i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that from tonight and forever i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb i go forward ever and backward never amen keep your hands lifted thank you jesus there is no man who can draw men to you except your son father we thank you you have drawn this man the bible says no man comes to the father except through jesus the son and we thank you because they have come and they have made this declaration and lord i declare by the authority of scripture that their sins are forgiven by the authority of scripture i call you recipients of eternal life in the name of jesus christ i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit may you be established may you be grounded you go forward ever and backward never and if there is any demonic thing standing your destiny right now by the power of the holy ghost i decree and declare in the name of jesus satan you had their declaration let them go now in the name of jesus christ let them go now by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god you are free and free forever in jesus name i pray amen and amen let's celebrate jesus now please all of you i want you to move to our counselors they are waving their hands please move to my right which is your left help those under the anointing let's celebrate them as they go just a minute or two they'll have your details and you'll be back hallelujah praise the name of the lord
Thank you for your patience. Just one or two announcements. All workers. All workers. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.